Ryan, I'm so excited to be at Poland Collection. Right behind me are two actual landed show units and if you were to come to the Bukit Sabawa Show Gallery, this is what you're gonna see. One is a cool theme, one is a warm theme. Explore this pretty magnificent architecture that is a brand new pure 99s landed. Today we're also going to explore this question. Should I go for a brand new 99s pure landed home or should I go for a new launch 99s condominium in today's market in the year 2023 and 2024? Let's go. So first up, this is being done by Bukit Sambong. Of course, the TOP date is 2026. That means that in about three years odd time, you're gonna get a keys to a brand new landed home. Now we are in D28. Some of the past successful projects by Bukit Sambong, you probably will have heard of them. The very tail end will be Luxus Hill, all the way stretching towards Nim Collection. Of course, Poland Collection is the latest series. Now this is being populated with 132 homes. Right now, only 45 units are released. For this series of Poland Collection, majority of the landed homes are inter-terraces. But you also have some very interesting corner terraces and some of it comes with their own private pool as well as a pair of semi D. Bukit Sambang with its rich heritage all the way from 1911 until today, they own quite a fair bit of land right here in the D28 zoning and that is of course very good news for current landed home buyers because when we look at the overall landed market supply, ever since 2018, we are being stuck with the same landed stock in the entire Singapore market which is at 73,000 odd landed units. There's no more brand new plots and that means that if you enter now, it might be a great opportunity because in future prices in terms of land price, PSF is going to be much higher than the year 2023 right now. Later on, we're going to explore at this price point today, whether is it worth going for a brand new new launch condo or resale condo versus a brand new 99 is pure landed like this one. But meantime, let's head in have a quick peek. Daydream in my head, I'm drifting, swept up in the moment, wishing every now and then. Just pretend that now, the moment you enter, you realize that in terms of the materials that Bukit Samoa is giving, it is pretty well thought after. Firstly, you're gonna have marble floorings. Secondly, six meters ceiling can be experienced at your living zone. And this is very important for landed home because the moment you head home, this six meters gives you that nice cathedral effect. Now, what do we mean by cathedral effect? Basically, it's an effect that you only get when you visit a lot of old architecture with super high volume ceiling. And this is something that a lot of families love to have because with this few the expense of space your living dining dry kitchen as well as the private wet kitchen with a frameless glass pocket sliding door and this is going to be something that you can pluck and play immediately because almost everything is being done for you i love this three panel sliding door right behind me in fact if you look upwards all the way you can install a motorized blind but this feature is beautiful because it just brings so much daylight in later as we go to level three and level four the the landscaping space that brings in so much cross ventilation into the landed home and it also brings in daylight in the center core of the home. So as we come to the front foyer, you're gonna have this panel that's being done for you to put in your shoe cabinets as well as to hide your distribution box right here. So this is the add-on space that you can have. Alternatively, a lot of landed owners also install additional cabinets right outside for additional shoe space and that can be done as well. And this design having a stairway being tucked right at the corner is very important. Now, Traditionally in the past, if you go for inter-terraces about 30 years old, they like to have the stairway jutting out into the middle of the home as a separation. But in modern architecture, most of the stairway are hidden towards the corner of the home so that you have more space at the living zone. But this bonus right here is quite rare because you're gonna have a powder room taking advantage of the sloping stairway right here because most of the time this is being utilized as a storage zoning. But because you already have a home shelter right towards the back, this is perfect as a powder room for your guests to utilize. Your dry kitchen is fully equipped with a steam oven as well as a full function conventional oven as well. So this is all being done with this tall boy cabinet. You also have all the soft closure features that you're hunting for. Quartz top all the way flushing in the L panel right here. You also have space up here. And of course, some of these things when you come for a stroll gallery, take note of the ID treatment because these are things that you can visualize on some of the add-on renovations that you want to do. So if you were to come in here, this is all fully given. You have a double sink, beautifully done. And the glass hop giving you four burners 
cabinet system. So if you look with me towards the top and bottom cabinets, these are all done with the current modern carpentry kind of technology. You have a nice little worktop right here as well. This is fantastic for your own coffee machine or your toaster. You also have nice pull-outs with soft closure system, full LCD panel, two door fridge right here, a ready plug in for you. You also have a nice washing machine that's being given and it's all under the brand series. Yacht WC, home shelter. Now when you come to the home shelter, you realize that this is one addition that you can have to utilize this as your helper's own private space with a pull down built in bed. This is the ID treatment that you can export building yourself if you have a living helper. If not, this can be a nice beautiful space. We definitely need to have a look at the backyard. Sometimes when a lot of my landed buyers ask me, hey Mel, if I go for a landed property, where's the best place for me to do my laundry? Now you have two options actually. One is of course the backyard zoning, but if you want to keep your backyard clean, actually a lot of my landed owners, they do it at the roof terrace space provided is easily accessible with a lift. So you can either do it at the backyard zoning or you can leave the backyard clean for gardening features like this. I'll be thinking, hey Melvin, this year in the year 2023, there are seemingly about 47 brand new new launches in the condo space. And let's just have a quick look at the current pricing. So if you want to get at least a four to five beta brand new 99s new launch condo, minimally you have to sink in close to about 3.2 and sometimes all the way up to about $3.9 million, depending on which region you are going for. And if you look at the current sizing, you're getting probably in the range of about 1,004 to about 1,006 plus square feet. And we're talking about strata, build up area for condominium pricing. And let's just dive into Poland collection. This land plot is 6 by 25 and of course that is an inter-terrace land plot space. When we talk about pure landed, this is very different from a strata landed build because for strata landed, we're talking about just strata build up space. But for pure landed, you're owning two things at one go. Firstly, you're owning the land which is 1615 square feet. Secondly, you're owning the structure sitting on top of the land which is estimated at about 4,100 plus square feet of build up area that is spread over five different levels. Of course, that includes the mezzanine architecture, which is at 1M level. That brings you to level 1, 1M, 2, 3, as well as the attic floor. So that gives you five full levels that is being served by a full glass panel lift. And later we'll talk about the lift because this is, of course, a future-proof home as well. Now, one level of comparison that you can have is to calculate in terms of the overall quantum investment between a new launch condo as well as a brand new 99 pure lander. What is the per square foot pricing based on the build-up area? When you talk about pure landed, we usually talk about the land PSF when we're comparing land versus other landed properties. But of course, in this context, if you're in a dilemma between a new launch condo as well as a brand new landed property, this is a calculation method that you can take to see whether it makes sense for your overall investment budget. So let's take, for example, you're hunting for a four to five million new launch condo. And let's just take a median of about 3.5 to 3.6 million dollars divided by maybe about 1,007 square feet. That will bring your overall PSF to about 2,100 plus per square foot for your entry investment range. Now, if you talk about this pure landed right here, though we are looking at 1615 square feet of land size, but let's take the build up at about 4001 as a comparison calculation. If we take about 3.6 to 3.7 million dollars divided by 4001, that will bring your per square foot to be slightly less than 900 dollars per square foot based on the build up area. And this might make sense for some families because maybe you're not really into the condo facilities, you're mainly into what kind of size can you get for your overall investment range. And a pure landed like this might suit something that your family is hunting for. Something to note about the current landed landscape. Maybe you might be thinking, hey Mel, should I go for maybe like an older 99 years landed property, maybe in the range of about two odd million dollars? Let me just bring out the pricing research that our PLB research team has done. If you were to go for anything in D20, D28, D19, 99 years landed, they are currently asking in the range of about 2.6 to 2.8 million dollars. Let's just take for example, you still have about a balanced lease of about 70 odd years because most of the 99 years landed, they are already about 20 plus 
plus years old and you get something in the range of 2.6 billion you thinking about maybe 400,000 for renovation that would bring your total cost to 3 million dollars and in terms of calculation for that if I were to take the 3 million divided by 70 years per year depreciation is in the range of about 42,800 dollars now if you go for a brand new Poland collection you're getting a full 99 years starting from 2019 when you get your keys in the year 2026 you are the first owner that owns the land plot that still has a balanced lease of 92 years and of course if you want to take an average price let's say for example 3.7 million dollars and per year depreciation is about forty thousand dollars if i were to go with the depreciation theory that's just to give you a sense that here sinking in three million dollars for older landed with balance of 70 years brand new landed three over million dollars and you don't have the sinking additional cash because this is on a full price purchase that you can actually loan against the bank for 75 percent full loan but that will bring us to a second topic is that if you were to go with this down payment as well as the cash for renovation that's a stark difference in terms of our cash outlay but most importantly this is a brand new home that you're getting so enough of the calculation later i'll talk more about different ranges of calculation as well but meantime i need to bring you out to have a look at the car porch because this might be something that might interest you as well So let's come back to the car porch. On my left and right, you see the EV isolator provision for your own EV charger. And this home is absolutely future-proof for you. Because not only do you have this, you also have the solar panels being installed. When you buy a pure lander, there's no MCST fee. It's unlike a strata lander, it's unlike a condominium. When we look at some of the lander properties nowadays, most inter-terraces that were built about 15, 20, or 30 years ago, they can only park one vehicle. The modern build allows you to go for two at Poland Collection. Now, the entire Poland Collection was being crafted by W Architects. If you look at the history of their work being done, you know why Bukit Samal selected them because they won the winners for President's Award in terms of architecture fleet. And, and when you come from Poland, you're going to be able to experience this theme called the Kaleidoscape theme. And there's going to be different kind of color tonality in terms of the nature space within the project itself. And it's one of the best chance for you to experience this thing called a hurt mentality as well. So let me just take a couple of seconds to elaborate what's herd mentality. Herd mentality only occurs when you enter into a development together with all the brand new owners because all of you seemingly enter at around the same per square foot pricing and when you wait three years later by 2026 you're going to have the best chance to experience a herd mentality because when everybody purchased together at the new launch phase what is going to happen is that everybody is going to have that same mentality that in the event after three five or eight years when they want to sell, they have a certain level of expectation. And that's very unlike any other lender enclave where maybe in an enclave that is about 20 to 30 years old, all the lender owners enter at various different price range and everybody might have different motivation. But for Poland Collection, similarly towards the performance of Luxus Hill in terms of per square foot pricing, it's pretty impressive. And one of the reasons is because of the herd mentality theory. If let's say you enter into a project at about 3.6 to maybe 3.8 million dollars range, they will not sell back at the same price that they purchased they will definitely want to sell at least maybe 4 to 4.5 million dollars 3, 5 years later and herd mentality is only possible at a brand new launch phase and let's have a quick look at how this home is being crafted for the green mark This spread over five levels, including the mezzanine level, north-south orientation. You also have a new road that's being opened up, and this road coming into your own lander and crazy seems pretty private, also. You're not gonna have a lot of vehicles driving past your lander zoning. Secondly, Amokyo Linear Park is done towards the end, and you're gonna have Nee Meadows Park right in front of the doorstep, and that's fantastic for you because over the weekends you're gonna enjoy the green space. And if you were to look at the level two and three, both finishes with metal and glass mixture as well. And I want to bring you to have a look at the Junior Master. We were meant to live together Walking hand in hand together We were meant to live together For always Most of the 
of time, when you go for some of the landed homes in the resale market, you're going to see that the attic level is left with a stairway entry. But for Poland Collection, developer actually structured the lift all the way up to the attic level, and that's fantastic. So for level 1 and 1M, you're going to have this nice dual function. Firstly, you have this outdoor garden right on your 1M level. Let's say your folks are living together with you, you want your parents to have their own garden space, this is going to be fabulous. This, of course, looks out to the entire front page of the landed home. This level is perfect for multi-generation living. If your parents are living together with you, they can have their own junior master right here. And all the bedrooms are en suite. This junior master even features an external back balcony as well. Now, all the bathrooms are beautifully fitted with coiler appliances and, of course, rain shower. Alternatively, if your parents are not living together with you, this level is fantastic to be your home office zoning as well as hosting area late into the evening. Meantime, I'm going to take the lift up to level 2 first. you ask me is that hey Mal should I go for maybe a four million dollars category one freehold or triple nine years older into terrace now let me just give a quick classification of our PLB landed home categories category one are homes that are usually 30 years old and above they are meant for tear down and rebuild category two homes are meant for A and A take note that A and A cost can cost up to 70 to 80 percent of a full on rebuild cost cat three homes are usually homes that are 15 years old plus minus you probably need to sink in about four to six hundred thousand dollars for renovation. Cat 4 homes are brand new, brand new homes. And of course, Poland Collection belongs to a Category 4 home. Now, if you are exploring the freehold or triple nine years landed space, let me just give you a quick guideline of what is happening in D28 as well as D19 for comparison. Now, the reason why I want to bring D19 is because if you were to look at the exact location of Poland Collection, this is a beautiful spot. Firstly, people come to this series right here because they want that proximity to CTE. But most important is that you're not in the extreme old CR zoning, you're actually very close to the ceiling fringe zoning and I think that is the perfect location that a lot of families are hunting for. Within a one to two kilometers range, you're gonna have a host of amenities. You can shop around at Salita Mall, you can shop around at Serangoon Nicks, or you can head back towards Waterway Point, or you can go towards Compass One as well. So there's a host of shopping facilities for you, but of course the closest that you can also go towards the 24 hours NTUC at Haogang One. Coming back to the categories, freehold pricing D19, D28 right now, Cat One Home around the range of about $4 million. If you buy something that is meant for teardown, you sink in another $1.5 million to $1.8 million for a rebuild, that will bring your total costing to $5.5 to $5.8 million. Cat 2 homes, let's say you get your hand on something at about $4.2 million for inter-terrace. You sink in about a $1 million, you still bring your cost to $5.2 million. Now, Cat 3 home, if you go for something that is maybe about $4.5 million, you sink in $500,000 for renovation, that will still bring your total cost to $5 million. And of course, Cat 4, brand new inter terraces are between the range of about 5.2 to maybe some even at about $6 million for some of the brand new inter terraces. So based on this, your minimum entry to a freehold triple nice inter terrace is definitely $5 million upwards. Poland Collection of course gives you the flexibility to enter in the range that is below $3.9 million. That gives you a beautiful entry level range. Now this is the second bedroom. Full panel windows. This of course now is being crafted as a study room. If you look at this, you have a sunken in wardrobe sliding panel. Beautifully done, it doesn't eat into your space. You can put in a queen bed, two side tables. You can put in a TV console panel and all the plug points are newly done for you. When you come for this series, and of course the type A intermediate terrace, you're gonna have these key materials. Firstly, quartz vanity top, mixer, wash basin is for coiler, cabinet that's done below the vanity top. Behind the mirror space, two panels of storage, beautifully done, side open cabinets for easy accessibility, beautiful space, sizable ventilation window, so everything is pre-done, you don't have to spend time, you can move in straight on, collect the keys, and of course something to note about the Bukit Sambawang brand new Lander Home series is that you have 12 months of customer care, of course there's a 12 months defect liability period, and of course there's a time that once you collect your key, you can check through the defects with the developer. I'm in the master room, when you come in here, this is your own 
master en suite, his and her sink, beautiful long bath, standing shower, space is nicely planned out for you. You're gonna have storage behind the mirror space as well. Huge storage below the two vanity. And as you head out, you're gonna have that full glass panel from top to bottom. And because of the external facade that has that sloping kind of feature on the top down and left right walls, you also get to see your open terrace on level one mezzanine. So this is of course good vantage point because you're seemingly like you're on level three. Now master room space is fantastic. You can put in a king bed, side tables, dressing table zoning as featured here. Your TV console space and of course your full on double panel wardrobe is just right over in this direction. Now as we come in here, I think this is the lovely part because you're gonna have this kind of open terraces right on level two as well that stretches all the way up to your attic level. This is of course the green lung of the home. Firstly, it brings in daylight from the top. Secondly, this brings in a lot of cross ventilation that airs and cools your entire land of home. Let's head up to level three. One key audience that I was thinking that will love Poland Collection will be if you are somebody that is upgrading from a HGB property and maybe you're in a dilemma stage because you have so many different choices in terms of a range that is within maybe below $3.8 million. But you're thinking that, hey, if I were to go for an older resale condo in the range of $2.8 million and I'm thinking another $200,000, $300,000 of renovation, that will bring my total cost to $3.1 million. When you look at Poland Collection, starting from a range of $3.8 million, $6 million, the gap is what we call a disparity gap because the gap is only about four to five k difference for something that is full on brand new 99 years. And then maybe you're also in another dilemma stage is that you're downgrading from a freehold land. Maybe you're sitting on a semi D that is worth about eight or seven million dollars. You can make a full payment for this landed home and thereby keeping the rest of the reserves for retirement. The last configuration that we can think of is that maybe you have an entry total investment range of about 5.5 million dollars should you go and put all your eggs in one basket but this offers you an alternative to split up into two names so utilize one name for this home at about 3.6 to 3.8 million dollars get the space and you're going to own this home as your key primary residence the other name invest in another 1.5 million condominium to rent it out for future investment that gives you an opportunity to own two properties instead of putting all your eggs into one basket so let me come to bedroom number four same setup as the study room that we came from this is a good visualization for you. Queen bed, two side tables, full panel, and you get a double panel facing to internally towards your own green wall garden. And of course, that's the beauty of that inter airflow that you get. Similar beautiful bathroom. Your walkway is towards the other direction. Now, level three is fantastic as the kids level. These two bedrooms can be for your children together. They can take the lift and climb the stairs. They have their own bathroom. There's no need to fight over the bathrooms as well. Nice frontage towards the front. They can also shout across to each other across the bedrooms as well. I think this level is going to be so fun. Let me head up to the attic level. So of course, as you can see, the lift stretches all the way towards five different levels. Most landed homes, they only stop at the tires level and leave the stairway towards the attic level. So this is fantastic because the roof terrace space is going to be served by a lift. You have a nice mirror right here for you to check yourself before you head out for work. So let's head on to the attic level. My goodness, this is beautiful. Usually, what do landed owners utilize the roof terrace for? Firstly, for gardening. Secondly, as what I mentioned just now, is an alternative space for you to do your laundry space. You can put in a washer can dryer. Just install a waterproof bottom vanity. So just use a concrete slab right here. Install and renovate a nice vanity right here. Sinking your washer can dryer. You also have an additional space right here that's already pre-built with a Franco sink, so you can do your washing here as well. Over here, you also have water points that are being done. You have pot points over at the corner, so all these are being taught after for you. And of course, you can utilize this entire space as natural clothes drying laundry zone. Alternatively, you can also build an additional barbecue pit right here. Of course, you can buy the mobile versions. And this is a great space for hosting over the weekends, over the evenings. And I love the fact that the developer also thinks about privacy. Because over here, on my left and right, I cannot see my neighbor, although they are inter terraces. In terms of the top process, home experience. These are all being crafted for you to have a nice, beautiful moving experience. I'm gonna head down back towards level one. All 
Alright, so I hope that you enjoy this landed walkthrough with Prof Tillin Brothers and come to Poland Collection. The show gallery is located along Amokyu Avenue 5. You're going to be able to see the entire place the moment you drive past here. And this is one of the rare moments that you can get a pure landed brand new home that allows you to move in immediately once you go to TOP expectantly in the year 2026. And once again, my name is Melvin Prof Tillin Brothers. As always, happy to show the place. In the meantime, take care. We'll see you on the next home tour.